an unequalled beer at the top of this Belgian brewery spectrum. It's beer o'clock, and from the brewery van Honsbrook, we have got a bottle of the Castile Cuvée de Chateau coming at 11% ABV. Just showing that cap because Barry's going to like that cap. The, um, Barry, a follower of my channel, who I'm collecting the caps for. So, um, the brewery van Honsbrook started off in 1865. Very, very famous for their beers, especially the, the, the Castile range or the Castle range. And I actually reckon that the Cuvée de Chateau is the best in their range. Um, which is, it's, it's really saying something actually because the Barista Chocolate Quad is tip top. So if this is better, than the Barista Chocolate Quad, which I reviewed at an earlier date, that's got, that, this is something going for it, it really is. Um, they reckon this beer has the taste of a dark castle. So, without further ado, let's crack it open. Let's open it up. And let's see if this is the best beer that Castile, or in the Castile range. Now what, what prompted me to uh, actually Get this bottle out. I've had this bottle a little while actually, believe it or not. Who's a uh, Brian, um, who's a subscriber to my channel, put a post on Instagram um, over the weekend that he was enjoying a, a bottle of this that he picked up on his Belgium travels. And that, that prompted me to think, oh shit, I've got a bottle of that. I've got a bottle of that hidden away somewhere. So um, yeah, I dug it out and uh, yeah, cheers, Brian. You give me some inspiration to review this beer. So, first impressions. In the, the Castile glass, look at that for a glass. Fantastic with a, it, it, it's just a, an iconic classic glass, this is fantastic. So first impressions, it is literally, it is black as black. Um, if I hold it up to the light, you can see some ruby red actually coming through it. I don't know whether you can see that on camera, but there is, if you look up through it, it's ruby red, but from what you're seeing, it, it is literally black. Um, it's got a lovely one finger, tight white foam head, slightly off white. Um, the lacing on the glass is good, look at that. You know, it's very sort of looks very sort of stout like, doesn't it? But it's not a stout. Um, let's get the aromas. Christmas cake, fruit cake, caramels, dates, dried dark fruits, raisins. I'm getting a little bit of sort of a wine tinge to it. It's a little bit of drop there. Now, a drop is um, a licorice over in Belgium and Holland. Um, it's quite a sort of salty licorice. Um, it's different to the sort of, you know, the Barrett's licorice that you're probably used to in England. But any of your, your Dutch, my well, Dutch subscribers and Belgium enthusiasts, that sort of thing, we know what I'm on about with the drop. Um, I've actually got a whole Vedette machine full of drop behind me there. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's the notes I'm getting from it. So let's dive in and give it a try. Right, cheers, Brian, for the inspiration to get this one out and, and review it. So let's have a go. Oh my word. I don't know how to describe that first sip. It's actually blown me away. So silky smooth, it is unbelievable. The taste of this beer is so complex as well. This is a seriously, seriously good beer. They reckon that they um that they mature this for ten years, and I can see why. It's silky smooth. It does not even feel like you've got an eleven percent beer. It just glides over your tongue glides down your throat there's no hint of alcohol at all the flavors are so hard to pick out to pick out you can pick out on the nose but to pick them out while drinking it whoa Caramelised malts. Imagine a creme brulee when they they get the old burner out and they burn the top of that that brown sugar. Well, that is the the caramelised malts you're getting on the sip. Then there's a hoppiness there. And it's a sweet hoppiness. I can't taste, I mean, I was expecting this beer to be bitter in, in some way and it's not. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's not overly sweet. It is, is silk on the lips. My word. This beer could push your Trappist Rush for 10 and your West Vletter in 12 and give them a good run for their money. I was about to swear there. This could seriously give them two beers a good run for their money. That's how good this is. Oh. 
I'm going to shout out a couple of uh, um, beer reviewers here, right? Wonder Beer Wonder, Scott and Wanda. You love the, the, the barista quad that Castile done. And Dean's Beer Reviews, you love the barista's quad as well. I'm going to challenge you both to get a bot to see if you can get hold of a bottle of this. Because I like to hear your opinions on it, because I think your opinions on it are going to be like mine and what Castile Black, that they reckon this is the best beer in their range. And at first I thought, nah, it can't be. The Barista Quad. But no, they're right. Um, this is just awesome. I can't thank you enough, Brian, for inspiring me with that Instagram photo of uh, you having it at this weekend and giving me the inspiration to get out. I thought, oh, bloody, I've got a bottle of that. Uh, I'll review it this weekend. And... Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, cheers, Brian. I'll tell you, thank you very much for that info, in, you know, inspiration. This is tip top. Um, it really is. This is a beer you've got to try before you die. It's such a it's silky smooth, but it's such a delicate beer. It's so delicate the way it enters your mouth. It sits on your tongue. It goes down your throat. It's... The beer is like a delicate woman. And you know what I'm on about. It's, it's blown me away actually how good this beer I didn't I thought it'd be good but I did not expect it to be as good as this it's bloody awesome it's complex it's dark it's silky smooth it's delicate um This is if you're if you're head brewer of a brewery and you come up with something like this, it's surely got to be the the, the, the pinnacle of your career. Um, you know the people who brought out the West Fletcher and Twelve, the Trappist Rochford Ten, right? That's got to be the beer of the the, the pinnacle. You know the. The trap quadruple, you know, the list can go on, you know, um, Westmel triple. It, we can just keep naming beers all night long. But whoever brews them beers, that must be, the, like I say, the pinnacle of their career. To, to you know, what, you know, a bit like an artist who um, paints the painting that becomes to be worth millions, you know. Um, um, the footballer that has, you know, the pinnacle of his career, you know, um, where he scores probably the, the winning FA Cup final goal. Um, for the brewer, this has got to be, um, well, you know, it's, it's just marvellous. This is just perfection. This is just... Hats off to the brewer or the brewery team that brewed this because it's that good. Um, look, all I can say on this is get yourself a bottle. Go on the internet, source it. I ain't even had a look where you can get it from. You probably get it from Belgium in a box, no problem. Um, and they're delivering to the UK still. So go online, get yourself a bottle of this. Look, you'll be doing yourself a favour. This is that, it's that good. Get yourself a bottle, try it, see what you think, leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring up a new one. 
And of course, subscribe to the channel. Because without you subscribers, the channel's on its knees. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.